you said that day, we're not losing the U.S. Capitol. Stop. 42! Come on! The U.S. Capitol today. Do you hear me? We're not losing the U.S. Capitol. You think this was the thing that was holding everything together? I did. I thought this was the only place that was in jeopardy of being breached. But then, um, you know, later we heard over the, over the radio that they were inside upstairs. We heard that there were shots fired. Um, there was a discussion if, if we should just abandon this because we were afraid that people would come from behind. You know, we'd be fighting on two fronts. But um, I told everybody, I said, I don't know who, how many people's upstairs. I was like, but I know there's like thousands of people out there and they all want to get in. We're not letting those people in. And it seemed to me like they were some of the most violent, you know, violent uh, people in that crowd were right here. It all got concentrated right in this, this hallway, right at these doors. Did you think if they came around that they would surround you guys? Were you worried about oh, absolutely, being, yeah. being trapped? Absolutely. We uh, actually sent a couple officers up to the top just to kind of give us a little warning if they did come down that way so we could kind of readjust our plan. So that was, a, that was definitely a, a, a big fear. So it was moment to moment? Absolutely, second to second. Did you ever think at any moment like, oh, we've lost this. We're never going <laughs> to. You know, there was a, there was a couple of times where um, I, definitely, I definitely doubted it. But uh, I'm telling you, what, what got me through is I, I saw people that officers that I worked with my whole career, you know, that I trusted. And I would just kind of see them, kind of lock eyes. And I knew if they were there, I'm going to be OK. You know, and, I, and I, they felt the same thing for me. That if I was there, then they knew they were going to be OK. What do you think of this place when you see and you, work, you, you come into the Capitol? Uh, I mean, I definitely think about that day. Uh, I think about the importance of this building, you know, what happens here. Uh, you know, I, I started my law enforcement career as a, as a U.S. Capitol Police officer before coming to D.C. Police. Uh, so I definitely have a strong connection to this building. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I just believe in America and uh, what this stands for. This seems smaller than he remembers. Oh, yeah, to I you? Am absolutely the same. Um, I remember the first time that I came down to the tunnel after uh, January 6th. It was actually uh, the day that I was up here um, with uh, Brian Sicknick's mother and uh, Sandra Garza, his um, fiance. And I remember uh, I came down to the, to the crypt and then walked down to the Lower West Terrace Tunnel uh, right just beyond here. these doors. And um, I was like, man, it's like so much bigger than I remember. Um, it's just very different. You know, when I was in there on January 6th, it was like a war zone. You know, like Ray described, it was just like littered with uh, weapons, debris, CS gas, like residual uh, gas just kind of floating in the air, created this like mist or like a haze. I mean, it's surreal.